Hi, Diana. Good to see you again. Oh, hi. Thank you. And you too. Don't forget, you can take some items from the food pantries over there. Thank you so much. Community donation helps a lot. We wish we could do more. Thank you for distributing the food for the needy. It's really a shame that we waste billions of pounds of food each year, despite the country's hunger crisis. Yeah, but it's people like you and the farmers and manufacturers who make this happen. Without your help, I wouldn't be able to do it. If we could only end hunger. It's not impossible. Fingers crossed that the vote results mean well. The results are tonight. If only you were the mayor. <laughs> I'd start with the hotel business then by devising and implementing a plan to reduce food waste. It's as simple as that. See, you got it in you. Nah, I don't think I'm capable of doing it. I enjoy assisting people one on one. You never know. Everybody talks about how amazing you are. I saw your video on social media about the importance of adult education the other day. You are putting in more effort than any of us. If only I had your patience and energy, work drains me out, and I can't really help that much. Please don't be hard on yourself. Whenever you're off, if you want to help out, let me know and we can work something out. Sure thing. All right, I will leave you for the time being. Good luck with the food relief program and other projects. Thank you. Have a good day. Hey, Jenny, everything all right in there? Sorry I took so long. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Hop in, girl, we have a lot to do today. Everyone will be watching the outcome tonight at home. I just can't believe we're finally going to be able to get rid of our clown. That's disrespectful. Yeah, right, a clown. You know what's disrespectful? Food, unemployment, homeless. That mayor is doing nothing. We are supposedly a rich community, and yet we still have this large gap. Where does all the money go? We do what we can, eh? The people still need us, mayor or not. We are in this together, always. We don't know where we'd go if it wasn't for people like you. As long as I'm able, I will do my best to serve you guys. Come on, everybody, the results are coming in. Many people may be surprised by this, but the people have spoken. Brookhaven's mayor is. Diana Penny, the people's choice for mayor in the next couple of years. What? Diana! 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 Oh my God, what is happening? This can't be true. Do you have any idea what this could mean? Di, we could put a stop to hunger, raise mental health awareness, and provide a fair system for the homeless and unemployed. We have the power to rule the city! Easier said than done. Diana! Diana! Diana Penny, Diana, it's so good to finally Diana. meet you. The people have voted for you and I can see why. Are you ready to take over? I can't do this. This is not about me, this is about the people. Thank you so much, Brookhaven. I'm at a loss on where to begin. I would have never predicted that I would one day be mayor. You all know how passionate I am about our community and I'm very humbled by the hope and the trust you have placed in me. My passionate desire is to bridge the gap for our people, which is why I have been summoned. And that's how I became mayor of Brookhaven. I thought it would be an easy road for me, but little did I know what I was getting myself into. The crowd, including Jenny, were all so excited for me. Believing in the works I am yet to deliver. For the people. A new change. Miss Diana Penny? Welcome to the office. My name is Cora. I'm your personal assistant. Hello, Cora. Very pleased to meet you. I'd like to start by addressing food waste in the hotel business and collaborating with them to contribute any excess fresh produce to food banks and charity for further consumption. 
I see you've been thinking about it for quite some time. Essentially, you want to cut and minimize the quantity of food waste produced. Sure thing. In that sense, we have various study papers on hand. Would you like to take a look at them? Yes, please. Before that first, we'll have to get you dressed. With that type of outfit, we can't possibly lead the people, can we? Right. Sure. I didn't think about that before. Let's get on to that. Perfect, miss! Next, we're off to the beauty salon to get a professional makeup and hairstyling, and then we have to purchase you a luxurious car. I don't need a luxurious car. Any car will do. I will just use the security car. Plus, I don't need to go to the beauty salon. What a waste of money. You represent Brookhaven, and so we have to spend some of the budget on representing the best of Brookhaven. Understood. Is it necessary for us to eat here? I don't want to be spending such outrageous amounts of money on food while people are hungry. It's on the house. We get to enjoy it for free. Oh, hi Jenny. I'm sorry I couldn't meet you before, you know, I got caught up with. Mayor dines and lives a luxurious lifestyle. It has Mayor been a duties. total nightmare ever since I started. This was the absolute last thing I wanted. And look where we are now. The people will always talk. We just have to learn to ignore them. Absolutely not. The only reason I am here is because of them. They require my services, yet it appears like we are filming a reality show here, wasting the taxpayer's money on pointless stuff. The terrible part is that the media is obsessed with what I wear to work, what I eat, drink, and how I sleep. I mean, really? It's one way to stay in the spotlight while still earning money from sponsors. Spotlight? Do we really need to spend so much money on designer clothing, branded cosmetics, cars, and high-end living expenses? No! Please, for the love of God, get the files to me. We have more pressing worries here. It never works in the long term. All projects have failed previously. It is possible to do this with the correct legislation, people, and community faith. Allow me to take the lead. I need to interact with others rather than hide behind my desk in this outfit. For your safety and security, we cannot allow that, miss! Who makes these rules? I do it for your safety. Safety. Hmm. Then, starting today, we change that. You are dismissed from being my personal assistant. I need to move forward. Security? Please assist Miss Cora into another role. Please, no! I love this job! Don't do this! Everyone else, please be informed that I've issued all of the council members with instructions. There are numerous completed studies, but no action was taken. It's time to make a move. Tell the people that I, Diana Penny, will ensure that the city not only survives, but grows to provide a brighter future for friends and family via education, a lower cost of living, and greater employment prospects. But they will have to help me too. Together, we can build the city. And oh, I'm looking for a new assistant, and I already have someone in mind. I'm really proud of you, Di. It was a success. We've taken the initial steps towards reducing the gap between those who have and those who don't have access to education. Did you know that the research into positive impact of adult education on well-being discovered that starting studies later in life has a positive effect on health? They found a number of benefits to their overall life, including financial stability, reducing alcohol consumption, and exercising more. This is amazing! We can do it if we work together. Thank you very much for agreeing to work as my personal assistant. Always. Now let's go. We have plenty more to do.